Um, anyway. Right, let's get serious now because uh, we've opened our phone lines for uh, you to get some advice from our agony aunt Deirdre Sanders and uh, it's on absolutely everything. So let's get straight to the calls and we'll start with uh, Jessica. Hiya, Jessica. Hello. Hi, Hi. you have a family dilemma. Uh, yes, I do. Not particularly family, I wouldn't say now, but and basically my ex-partner, um, his whole family haven't bothered with my child in four years. Right. Um, we we split up last year, but it's just come to light that apparently they're they're really bothered about seeing him. And mm. um, now I've contacted them on multiple occasions, um, all of them, um, and none of them have ever come back to me. So I'm just wondering what I should do. My son um, doesn't really cope well in situations around strangers and would prefer to, for me to be there, which is understandable. Mm. But I just want to know whether they really should even. I mean, see him or, oh, or not. How old is your son? Um, he is just under nine. OK, so very, very aware of what's going on then. And uh, so is he seeing a lot of his dad? I mean, well, I'm not quite clear. Is, is your, your ex-partner, your son's father, is he having regular contact with him? Um, not at the moment, because he doesn't believe that he should see them if his family aren't involved. So, sorry, so he, your, your former partner, doesn't believe his son should see his family? Um, no, so he, he doesn't want to see the, the, my son if, he, if my son can't see his family. He's never been bothered about that before and it's always just right. been something that we've agreed on, but suddenly they, they have the urge to see him, but I don't, right. I, I don't know he, he does, really. So that's, that's very manipulative, isn't it? It's very unfair on your son for his dad to start saying, I don't want to see you, know, I don't want to see you because... You're not seeing my family. How have you, how have you reached out to his family? You, you say you contacted them. How did you do it? Um, I've tried to call them all, but with no success. Um, so then I um, used WhatsApp to message oh, them. So, so I know that they have seen the, they've seen the messages because it has the blue ticks, but yeah. I've never had a response. Yeah, this is really difficult. I don't know. It's very hard for us to speculate on what the manipulative stuff is that's going on behind the scenes there. I think you've got to hand it back to your son's father and say, I'm totally OK with him seeing your family, that's OK, you know, it is his father's family. I want to be there, and that's also totally reasonable. I would suggest that, and that may be what the sticking point is for them. They're sort of seeing this as a control issue. It's a sort of another version of tug of love, which is very, very unfair on your son. Yeah. I would suggest a neutral place you get together and say to your son's dad, look, I think we should get together. Why don't we yeah. all go for, you know, there are lots of these days, there's so many cafes and coffee shops and uh, things like I've that. I've suggested it. I've already suggested it, but he will not have any of it because apparently they don't like me but I've never done anything for them to feel that way. I've always been the one to invite them round. I've always been the one to say, oh, should we go for lunch? Should we go to like, the play area? But you, you, but, do you trust your ex sort of, with your son and his judgments? If he was with his dad and then his dad took them to see his family, would you be OK with that or would you feel like you had to be there? Would your son be comfortable if his dad was at least there? I think he would want me there because he's very clingy. Like, we're, we've got a very, very close bond. Mm. Very, like, I'm very sure, close. but and he does... doesn't know who they are. But yeah. does your son spend time just with his dad? Not really, no. See, the thing is, it's, 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 it, it sounds oh, you've got to do the right thing for your son. Absolutely. That's and the, I, the, the, the bottom line there, is yeah, if, he's, if he's unhappy, don't do it. Mm, it's very difficult, because obviously as a mum, I, you know, I'm hearing what you say, and as, but as mothers, we have usually have such control over our children's moods. And really, I'd like you to be working towards your son spending time with his dad without you being there, unless there are really reasons that you haven't mentioned yet and you probably shouldn't maybe on air that, you know, he's abusive mm -hmm. or something really bad no, no, about no, him. No, not at all. No. Not at all. Well, I think work yourself towards that because I think that is the key. And once I you do. can get your son spending time with his dad, which is totally right, you know, a son of that age should be really getting yeah. his male modelling and everything from his dad. It's important for him. Work towards that and then... Um, then, as Holly said, you know, then you can actually... His dad can take him to see his yeah. family. Mm. And it, there's also a really good organisation called Family Lives, and they have a... They particularly help sort of step families and these sort of, you know, when parents don't get on, those sort of situations. So they're on our website, so talk to them as well about, you know, finer details that we probably yeah. can't get to on but there. Do it, but, but do it slowly because, as yeah. you said, your son gets really anxious and he is under 10, so, you know, that's yes, the last thing absolutely. you want is to be but pressuring him doing that. Yeah, he probably does need his dad. Yeah. All yeah. right, thanks. Thank you for that.